I have had a particular question come up three times this week that I want to address in a video. And the question is, at what point can I give up on a song? Um, at what point am I just being flaky? At what point am I just being undisciplined? Um, and my answer is pretty straightforward. Um, give up a song if it's causing you to dread sitting down at your piano. If you are learning a song that's really challenging, it's not necessarily demotivating. Like, it's not the same thing. Being challenging is not the same thing as being demotivating. Sometimes a song can be challenging and extremely motivating if you really want to learn the song. Um, but our feelings towards songs change. I think that's just part of being human. And I think that it's just part of the learning process. Sometimes you sit down to a song that you think you would like to play and you kind of get a couple weeks into it and it's not really grabbing you anymore. I think that's totally fine. Um, I think that if you are free and willing to be honest about not liking a song and accepting enough of yourself that you can just move on, some really great things can happen. I started offering my students the opportunity that if they didn't like a song, we could just keep going and we would, I would never make them feel bad about it. We would never look at it again if they didn't want to. And a really interesting thing happened when we let go of songs that didn't make them feel bad or dread at their piano anymore, they started enjoying playing more. Um, and what's more than that is that they actually started savoring the music that they were playing. Um, when we found music that maintained their interest and their motivation, it actually encouraged them to practice more because we had found music that they wanted to learn. Um, and also they became motivated to pick up more challenging music. So the fear that changing your music halfway through a song is going to lead you to be less disciplined, I really don't buy that because you have lots of opportunities as a piano player to show your discipline. Even when you're learning a song that you do enjoy, it still requires a ton of discipline, um, especially as your songs get more and more challenging. So. I think that we kind of set ourselves up for failure when we start setting up these ridiculous and needless expectations that our practice should look a certain way. Um, everybody's journey is different. If you're feeling dread at even going to your piano, your body is giving you a clear sign that this song is not for you. So I just encourage you to drop the song don't let yourself feel guilty any longer than you absolutely need to. Move on to something that you will enjoy more because there's still lots of room for learning ahead of you. Good luck.